Oh hey guys, I'm Jessica Lemieux. I'm a merchandiser for Flynn and Reynolds Agency and I'm here today at Karoon Yoga at the corner of Pearl and Chestnut in downtown Springfield. Come check it out. Welcome to Strictly Business. Jessica, thank you for uh, coming on. Um, this is Corey Vitteramo and I'm Alfonso and uh, welcome to the show. We're going to go right into the hot topics. First off, Apple, uh, they're relaunching Apple TV. Um, it hasn't sold well, so they're re redoing the whole concept right now. Um, the major revision they're calling it. They're selling it for only $99 and it used to be $229. Um, and it, it, it's said to be fitting in the palm of your hand. They're going to be working with Netflix. And I think it's going to, it's kind of like what they're doing with Google TV, kind of inserting it where it's not going to be like a cable like Comcast or Xfinity or whatever they're called now. Um, it's just going to be an addition where you can store and get your music on there, your videos, your TV, Hulu, everything. Um, What's a Hulu? You never heard of Hulu? No. It's a website you can go on, you can watch any show from like ABC, NBC, yeah. anything, yeah. Yeah, I got it yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to be great for um, the Apple TV. Then the, the new iPods are relaunching the Nano, um, bringing it back to the original size or the original format. And it's now touchscreen. I saw a photo of it looking, it, you can it's put tiny. it on as a watch. Yeah, and yeah. people are, it's like a touchscreen watch, and they're calling it. Um, it's really cool. I mean, I have the iPod Classic. I think that's the only one that's not upgrading or up. They're changing up, everything else is changing. Um, even including the iTunes. They redesigned the logo, they're adding more of a, they're act actually making iTunes more of a social network in a way. They, um, what does it say? Um, new interface, new album art. Um, they took off the, the CD as a background for the logo, now it's just a blue s circle, it says. For the music note. Yes. And you can follow friends, you can follow artists, on iTunes, you can um, bands, you can also post videos and check out concert dates. I mean, they're taking iTunes to a whole new level. Um, they're kind of combining it with like Twitter and yeah. Facebook and everything. Ex there's, yeah, it's featuring Ping, which is um, another social networking aspect, and they're combining it. It's, it's a Google search, right? Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. It's these people keep getting more money and the innovation. I can't keep up with the innovation. Can you say the word? Though? Innovation. <laughs> I honestly like. I'm afraid to commit to one Apple product. Like I have an iPod, and it's like a refurbished Nano from like three generations ago. And I'm just, I'm just scared, like nervous. I'm scared to commit to like one thing because I feel like the next day I'm gonna be out of date. Yeah, and you're gonna want the new thing. Yeah, it happens all the time. It's not even with. Um, products it's with everything you know you, you get a new car then the, the next year model comes out six months before the actual year um, they do the, it's with everything um, but I mean I'm not gonna be purchasing any of the new Apple stuff um, maybe the iTunes I'll upgrade but other than that yeah I'm, I'm content with what I have right now the iPod the new Nano is so little it's like why would you not just spend a hundred dollars more for the bigger one that yeah you actually see? exactly I, I that's my Able to lose it, able to. Yeah. I just, I wouldn't, for me, like, I'm already on my fifth iPod and they're. Because <laughs> I lose them or people, like, it's just, I don't, whatever. Uh, next topic, we're going to go to BP advertising budget near $100 million during the spill. Um, it, the exact cost was $93,429,175 on advertising, um, which roughly is $5 million a week. That's insane. Well, they claim that the oil stopped spilling, but the what continues to spill out is the damage to the small businesses, mm -hmm. and their ad campaigns are generated, and they're they're pushing like, yes, we will. They bow down to clean up the spill, mm -hmm. but they're not um, targeting those small businesses and how they can help them and help the economy that's happening down south. I mean, I think people are just ticked off at them at this point. Well, they provided $89.5 million in grants um, to aid for tourism for the states um, that border the Gulf of Mexico. Um, some of them have been used for advertising for each state to get more people to go down to spend money in those states. Um, I know they, as a whole, BP spent, uh, let's see, they did local newspaper advertising in 126 different markets in 17 states that went from Florida, Louisiana, Alabama, and Mississippi, and then they went to um, 
more broader states, uh, which I don't understand, but they went to California, Connecticut, Delaware, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Maryland, Michigan, New York, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Texas. <laughs> I said that one right this time. And Texas. Yeah, but people are just still pissed. Like, the, I saw today, there was a sign that said, like, I think it said, damn BP, God bless America. Like, legit sign on the side of the freeway. Yeah, there's a Facebook um, fan page, or unfan page, that, like, don't, that people are clicking on that they don't like BP. Um, I mean, people are still buy, going to get their gas there. What's yeah. the difference? They're going to talk crap, but they're still going to go buy their gas. Like, they're still in business. So, um, they are just, they spend an obscene amount of money on advertising. I don't even oh, know. as they should. Yeah. Yeah, they need to refurbish their um, brand. They need to, you know, fix themselves. All right, we'll go up to the next topic. Uh, Microsoft co-founder is suing Apple, Google, Facebook, eBay, AOL, Yahoo, Netflix, Staples, Office Depot, Office Max, and YouTube. And Alex and Sally. I've been doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's saying they fi- they violated four different patents. Um, I, this guy's one of the richest guys in the world. Like, what do you need to sue for? You know, I don't know. He said most of the companies like eBay and Facebook have already confirmed that they're going to fight against the lawsuit um, because it has no merit. I, this is just stupid. Well, I don't understand why they're suing them. I mean, it's I mean it's funny, but come on. <laughs> what else have I to say? Like so mad. I'm not mad. It's just like Paul. His name is Paul Allen, right? Yeah, Paul Allen. You shouldn't trust people with two first names. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I just don't get it. I don't know, nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, next topic. Um, did a little, there's on, from Inc. Magazine, they did an article, Top Business Books Up to Date. Um, a couple of them are really cool, I'll go through the whole 10, um, then we'll talk about a couple of them. Number one was the corporate lattice. Oh, wow, I said nice it right. Nice job. <laughs> um, number two is the buying brain. <laughs> number three is the finder 2.0. Number four is rich dad's conspira- conspira- conspiracy of the rich. Number five is different. Number six, the house av- advantage. Number seven is leading for growth. Number eight is keep swinging. Number nine, what you got here, you won't get there. And number 10 is re- re- re-engineering of healthcare. Um, a couple of them seem pretty cool. I haven't actually heard of any of them, so I don't. I kind of need to read. Um, well, I think it's important to note that books like this are not like your easy read, get through them in a yeah. like in a week. I think it's important to note that you have to take yourself back to school mode and like take notes and mm-hmm. make it so that it applies to you in real life. And I'm sure that a lot of the books are from the library, so you don't have to make a big purchase on all ten of these books at one time. I'm pretty sure they're probably available online too to buy online, so you don't actually have to buy the actual book mm-hmm. too. Um, one of them, um, different, and I, the author is Young Me Moon, um, I'm guessing Asian, and shows how to succeed in a world where conformity reigns but exceptions rule. I think that's really interesting. I'm, I'm actually interested in reading that one. I think the best part about that list is all of those titles are catching. They yeah. catch your eye, and that's the most important. That's probably why they're the top sellers because everyone is focused on things that are going on in current society. So, well, Rich Dad Conspiracy of the Rich, um, Robert uh, Kiyosaki, he wrote Rich Dad Poor Dad, and that was an awesome book. I read that book; that was awesome. Actually, when I went to college, I went to University of Hartford. They actually used that book in one of the classrooms. Um, awesome book. That's definitely a read. That should have been on this list. I don't know why it wasn't. Um, I would say a local Angela Lucia should be on this book of the anti-resume revolution. <laughs> I was interviewed for the book, so you should definitely pick that up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, overall, this list, list looks good. Um, go to ink.com, check out the list. Uh, definitely worth going through and choosing a couple to read. Next. Your next future millionaire. Yes. Let you come on the show and we do a spotlight on you. Uh, the, ne- <laughs> the next um, topic actually is about yoga, where we are right now. Um, September is National Yoga Month. Um, Americans spend on average $5.7 billion a year on yoga classes and products. Uh, it, this past year in 2009, it's 87% increase since 2004. That's a lot of bending and moving. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> which you'll be seeing me do later. Um, yeah, I mean, that's great. I mean, it shows a lot of people are more into their health and taking care of themselves. And um, it says nearly 16 million of them are adults in the US that practice yoga. 72% of them are female. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's great. I want people are like interested in their health and they're getting fit. And um, yeah, so September is National Yoga Month. And um, check out Karun Yoga. You'll see her later on. Um, and that's that. <laughs> Um, let's see, we're gonna go up to, there's an article I read, um, Made in the USA, it's businesses that made it, that were in America, that use America products, um, you know, USA. Um, <laughs> Proud to be an American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of them is Agus Bicycles, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but it's from Maine. There's another one called Mrs. G uh, Grossman's. Um, which does stickers, activity sets, and labels. Um, Zippo, the lighting, the lighters, uh, everyone knows Zippo. They're actually from Pennsylvania. Um, American Apparel, which is a, a clothing brand from California. Um, Super Peel Pizza Paddle uh, from New York. Um, this guy uses, uh, what's it called? He was at his house and just decided to use, make his own pizza paddle, and he sells it. I mean, he's made two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, he sells them on Amazon, and it's pr purposely used for in-home cooking of pizzas, which is I think is really cool. Because um, if you go to like my dad owns Capri, you go and grab a paddle. You can't use that in the house. You start knocking things off the counter. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really cool. And the last one is Larson Electronics um, flashlights, LED lights. They've been in business for over forty years. They're located in Texas, so there are a lot of. It's a wide range of businesses, but they're cool. I actually went online and um, there's a lot of websites that you can find um, that are, they identify products that are made in the USA. Mm -hmm. So some of those websites are stillmadeinusa.com, americansworking.com, and madeinusa.org. So if you wanted to find out more about products that are solely made in the USA. Mm -hmm. Cool. I think in the industry that I work in, which is the electrical industry, there's a lot of, and one of the representatives, or we're a manufacturer's representative for predominantly 3M, and a lot of their products are made in America, and that's really important to the consumer because they want it immediately. It's at, mm -hmm. at a fast pace, they need this now, and they can't wait for it to be shipped from China. Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta think of the economic reason that it's gonna help our economy overall. Mm -hmm. You know, we ship our, you know, everything out to China or Taiwan, like, they're getting the money, we're not. Um, so I think it's definitely going to help our economy just, you know, stick with the USA for now. Um, well, to Jessica's point, I mean, the response time must be higher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Faster, rather. Yeah. Your company Customer rather service. Than somebody right. else. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that's it for our hot topics. Jessica, thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'll be right back. Yoga all the time, so you're going to get a higher quality of teaching here in the studio. Great. 
Let's uh, show me what you're uh, All right. teaching here. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, let's get started. So the first pose we're going to do is called mountain pose. Now this is, um, you can look at it as simply a standing pose. We're going to bring the feet parallel to each other, about hip width apart. Just feeling the feet connected to the mat, bending the knees slightly, placing hands on hips. Now from the hips down, we're feeling grounded. And from the waist up, just feeling tall and relaxed. You can roll the shoulders once. Excellent. Releasing the arms down. Feel like a thread is pulling you up through the crown of your head. Excellent. Relax the, relax the arms down. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right. So this is, you can look at this as simply a standing pose, but this is actually, there's a lot going on here. We're feeling grounded, centered, tall, strong, and open. All right, we're going to roll out the shoulders. We're just going to find really big shoulder rolls, okay? Just opening through the shoulders. A lot of people hold tension in their shoulders, moving in the opposite direction. In gentle yoga, these are the postures that you're going to be doing. Very, very simple, releasing tension out of the body, releasing stress out of the body. You can take this with you into your office or into school. Let's go ahead and inhale. We're going to lift the shoulders up around the ears. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to sigh and drop the shoulders. <sighs> Excellent. Back. All right, everybody's looking. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And once more. These are great stress relieving techniques that you can actually take with you into your day as well. That's great. So let's do some simple warming up. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms up. Try not to hit the person next to you. And just reach the arms up side to side. Very gentle. I like to say, like, you're waking up in the morning. So you're opening through the side race so you can lift a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I could. Last race in the room. I think that. I'm happy fun with it, it's really important yeah. too. Alright, releasing out of that. Okay. Let's find the breath. So we're actually going to place the hands on the ribcage. Okay, inhale, we're going to feel the breath expanding from the abdomen, ribcage, and the chest. So we're feeling the breath all through here. Exhale, just let it go. Excellent. So taking a couple more breaths here. A lot of us only feel the breath from here up or from the neck up. That's very unhealthy. Taking deeper, stronger, fuller breaths helps us to release stress in our day, find our center, feeling focused, feeling clarity. I'm just getting in touch with our body again. Be amazed at how many people are otherwise very healthy, but they have a ton of stress in their lives. Excellent. All right, let's do a little more with the breath. We're going to bring the hands in front of the heart. Inhaling, opening out. I'll step in front a little bit. So you can open all the way, gentle heart opening pose. Exhaling, come into center. All right, so we're moving on the breath here, flowing on the breath. So you're feeling this very simple connection of body to breath. And hence a connection of body to mind. I do a lot of movement in my classes, slow flow. This is another example of what you'd be doing in gentle yoga. Very simple. And again, just getting in touch with your body, releasing stress, connecting with the breath. Okay. Inhaling, opening. And then exhaling all the way to center. Inhaling. And exhaling, releasing. Excellent. Let's shake out the body. All right, let's shake get into it. <laughs> you can dance at any point in any class you attend. That's fine, too. <laughs> All right, let's place hands on the hips. We're going to go ahead and walk forward to the front of the mat, coming into warrior two pose, feeling our grounding again in the feet. Feet are parallel to each other. We're going to step back with the left leg. Okay, you want a my wide, other, my other left. Leg. <laughs> you want a wide stance here. Front toes point directly forward. Back toes are in just slightly off the parallel, so they're pointing kind of in this direction. Uh, heels are lined up with each other. Excellent. Now flowing with the hips, so we want to have like a gur grounded stance. So we're feeling very strong and lifting through the back leg. I'm going to let you guys say gur in just a second. All right, let's okay. open up here just a little bit more. Excellent. It's already hurting. All right. <laughs> I'm going to face this way. All right. So inhaling, we're going to sweep the arms all the way up. Exhaling, warrior two, so extending arms forward and back. All right, let's go ahead and bring the hands to the center here. Okay, making sure your heart is lined up over your hips. You're shifting this way. Okay, excellent. So now you're feeling center line. You're feeling centered and grounded. And opening out, grounding through the hips, reaching forward, knees over ankle, not past ankle. Excellent. Gazing forward, taking two breaths. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And 
So we're feeling powerful through the base, and enjoying it is very important too. All right, that's our warrior two pose, feeling focused and direct through the arms and through the gaze. Do you know why they call it warrior? Because I feel like I'm like, you know, warrior. But yeah, so you yeah. should feel it's a power pose. You should yeah, feel very powerful. Yeah, I can definitely powerful. feel it like right here in the thighs. Excellent. Let's go ahead and shift over to the other side. So we're going to bring the hands to center. We can just shift back, gazing back, opening out. Yep, so you're feeling a lot of power, you're feeling open hearted, so it's a compassionate warrior, focused and direct. Inhaling, exhaling, bringing the hands back to center, feet parallel to each other, and then we're going to heel toe all the way back to center. When I teach warrior, I say, if you need to feel strength somewhere in your life or power somewhere in your life, take this feeling. First you feel it in the body, and then you direct it somewhere in your life. So every posture you can bring back into your life. All right, let's do one more pose, and then we might, like, Heat it up a little bit more. All right, so bringing the feet together again, coming into tree pose. This is a balance pose. Okay. And balance is a very important thing to have in our lives. We're going to come up onto right toes, bend the standing leg, and just feel grounded and centered here on the toes. Excellent. From here, <laughs> you, can, from here you can place the heel on the side of the excellent. You can stay right here. This can be your tree pose. You can bring the foot up to the side of the calf. You want to avoid the knee area completely. We're supporting the knees. Or you can bring the foot up to the side of the thigh. Or if you'd like more of a challenge, you can come into like a half lotus, bending the knee a little bit more, and then bringing the hands to heart center. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 come on, man. You gotta, you gotta do a low tree. <laughs> All right, and then reaching up. <laughs> I just I want to push you over. <laughs> Jerk. Come on, guys, get serious. You don't have to. It's good to laugh. Coming back to center and down. A lot of people get very serious during balancing poses. It's actually good to be childlike and playful. Falling out is also a good thing. So, good job. <laughs> How do you know it's childlike? <laughs> childlike is important. All right, let's go ahead and come on to the opposite side, hands to hips. And then coming, finding your tree wherever you are. And bringing hands to center. Kind of giving the tree limbs. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, a first tree? I don't know what tree you are. center. All right. Uh, I don't even say. Okay, so person. these are some poses that you might find in gentle. You might also find them in warm up, the warm up part of the class. Now we're going to do a few more poses, we're going to have a little more fun, and these poses would be intermediate poses, or all levels, okay? Um, so, alright, let's, uh, okay, I'm just going to, uh, okay, so let's do a little bit of flow, so you guys can just follow me. Alright, so we're going to walk to the front of the mat, inhale, sweeping arms all the way up. <laughs> Facing dog. Alright, so hips go high in the sky, pressing down through the shoulders. Excellent. And so you can just press down here a little bit more, lifting through here. Great. Alright. Oh, From here, we're gonna uh, <laughs> go forward into plank pose. Excellent. Lifting through the core, lifting through the lower back. Excellent. And then chaturanga. So very slow push up, hugging elbows to the body. Slow, slow, slow. Hover, 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 hover. Excellent. Rolling on the toes, upward facing dog. Beautiful. <laughs> Breathing <laughs> and then downward facing dog. All right, let's go ahead and lift the right leg up to the sky. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. <laughs> bring that all the way through. So we're gonna low lunge. <laughs> low lunge. So bring the foot all the way through. We're gonna bring the back foot down to the mat and then sweeping the arms up. Warrior two. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna get a little crazy here. So inhaling. Exhaling, we're going to come down into extended side angle. So bringing the bottom arm down. Excellent. Beautiful. All right. From here, we're going to come into a bind. Bring the top hand around. Excellent. And then the bottom hand goes under. You can clasp oh your hand. Yeah. Opening the heart. Bind. From here, we can step the back and let it go. I can't reach my hand. And come into, <laughs> come into a balance. <laughs> Straightening the left. Nice job. Oh, wow. Um, um. <laughs> and releasing. He's shaking it up. His shoulders are just not as flexible. Oh, wow. Take your breath. 
Don't make all the brown. So as you can see, there's a lot of different levels of yoga. We just went through something that would be much more intermediate or advanced class. I do more gentle classes in the studio. So you're going to be doing more of the shoulder rolls, the breathing, and that kind of thing. So why, you know, you know yoga inside out. Why should people like do yoga? Yeah, so basically, um, there's so much stress in people's daily lives now. And there's nothing really out there to help us to release the stress out of our body. So what happens is it actually accumulates inside the body. And what happens is there's long-term health effects, negative health effects that happens yeah. um, when you have stress accumulating in the body. So it's very much um, a preventative thing for younger people or people who are otherwise healthy just to release stress out of the body through yoga. Connecting with the body, with the breath, and finding focus and clarity in your day. And these are things that most people don't have right now. Focus, clarity, connection, strength, all of that. That's what yoga gives us. Um, for older people, or for people who already have mental health issues, it's very safe. It's a great way to work through some arthritis. One woman um, comes in with asthma. She can already feel a deeper breath when she's in her yoga class. Another woman comes in with an oxygen tank. Sometimes she turns the tank off because she needs less oxygen when she's doing yoga. Wow. So as, as you can see, it just runs the gamut even if you're 25 years old and healthy, or if you're 65 years old and you have arthritis everywhere, yoga is for you. Mm -hmm. Something back so you can tell the viewers if they want to check you out. Yeah, there's a couple of things coming up. Um, one thing I just wanted to talk about briefly is I also do seminars on stress relief. So I go into offices or go into schools and I teach people about stress and how to release stress out of the body. Um, a lot of people are avoiding stress by drinking or smoking or excessive internet use. And these are actually ways to release stress out of the body. So I talk to people about that. I'm looking at working with a couple colleges in the fall. Oh, um, doing some seminars there. So that's one thing. A couple of um, specific events coming up. I'm actually looking at bringing Zumba into the yoga studio. Um, so we're having a free, a free Zumba class on um, Monday, September 13th. Uh, from 6 to 7 p.m., so that's here. Right. And then a little bit uh, further down the road, October 23rd, is a women's health <laughs> workshop that I am a part of. Um, it's um, happening in Ludlow, and it's with Monarch Complementary Health, that does aromatherapy, and Western Mass Wellness, who does Reiki. So all three of us will be there um, doing a women's health workshop. Great. Uh, what's the website so if they want to get more information on you so they can uh, check you out? Yep. Yeah. My website is kayumyoga.com. Um, is there anything else you want to tell the viewers before we sign off? Um, I think that's basically it. Thank you very much for having me on here. Thank you for coming up. Thank you and for showing us the moves. Excellent. And all I want to say is start paying attention to your body and to your breath. And those are the first steps to just releasing stress out of your body and feeling better in your day. Good. Uh, and we'll be right back. Next week we have JX2 Productions, uh, actually Wednesday, not next week. Um, so thank you for tuning in. And look forward to our um, launch party that's coming soon, October 7th at Pazos in Springfield. Yes, if you want to register for the invitation, you go to um, biznewslaunch.eventbrite.com, sign up, and you have your spot in the launch. And we'll see you Wednesday. Bye.